Good evening. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It's 8.58 in the evening on Wednesday, May 19th, 2021. And yesterday we were talking about uh, the risk moving into Northwest and Northern California on the 19th into the 20th. And that's where we are right now. Um, let's take a look at the uh, forecast for San Francisco Bay and uh, Northern California right now. This is the latest data that just came in. The risk level in uh, Northwest California is about eight to 10% above that uh, during the, uh, the quake that hit uh, near Reno, which was a 5.1. And using the same forecast model, you can see uh, it was very high risk up near Reno. And now the risk is near San Francisco Bay. So we're expecting at least a 5.0, and some of the other data is pointing to a much stronger earthquake. So uh, 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely uh, in the area from San Francisco Bay up to uh, Eureka. Uh, so if you live in that area from San Francisco Bay to Eureka, please tell your friends and family that during the next, um, more likely during the next 24 hours, uh, 24 to 36 hours, uh, 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely from San Francisco Bay up to Eureka. And we're going to take a look at uh, around the world as well. We just got a, another 3.6. We got a 3.6 down in uh, here near Ridgecrest uh, a little while ago. And now we just got another 3.6 up here near Mina, Nevada. So things are starting to uh, take off here now. Well, this, they just changed it. So this 3.6 was earlier. Now we got a 4.1 up near Mina, Nevada. And that would put it right about in this area here. But the risk, the highest risk is over here in the San Francisco Bay. Uh, this 4.1 that just hit just minutes ago was here in uh, West Central Nevada. And right about in this risk area here, which is the 80, 85, 90% risk area. Over here in San Francisco Bay is the highest risk from San Francisco Bay up to Eureka. So expecting something to 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely in the next 24 to 36 hours in that area. Please warn your friends and family. Let's take a look at the some of the other places around the globe. And uh, the 19th right now. So the risk is uh, southwest of Anchorage in the Alaska area here in uh, west, southwest uh, Alaska on the 18th and the 19th. And the 20th and 21st, the risk is down near Sandpoint at about 60% down there. And let's take a look at the uh, Chile forecast. Uh, we had a 5.1, I think, let's see here, down. Yeah, 5.1. Let's see if we can zoom out here. You can say here's La Serena right here. And this is where the 5.1 occurred. And that occurred right up in this area here in the 95% risk area in Argentina. You see that right over here in Argentina, just above that lake right here. And that way you can't see where it's right here, but just northwest of that is where that quake occurred, 5.1. So the risk, uh, the 19th, the 20th, it begins to diminish over there, but uh, this continues uh, northeast of La Serena here and uh, east of Copiapo. And the risk begins to build near uh, south of, uh, Concep near Concepcion and also uh, northeast of La Serena here on the 20th to 21st. And in Italy, Italy, we could get a, a very significant earthquake in Northern Italy here uh, tomorrow the 19th. No, this is the 20th here. Tomorrow's the 20th. So yes, tomorrow uh, into the 21st, uh, 5.0 to 5.5 is likely in Northern Italy near Bologna. 
So watch for that in Northern Italy uh, during the next, uh, well, on the 20th, most likely on the 20th. Okay, and let's see what else we got here. In Japan, the risk is offshore right now. Right out here, this could produce a uh, uh, 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is possible just uh, east of Tokyo. Um, and I would say that's likely. 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely. This is Ibaraki, so just east of Ibaraki and northeast of Tokyo during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. And then the rest, the risk diminishes after that. So during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours, uh, 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely northeast of Tokyo, east of Ibaraki, and southeast of Fukushima. In the Philippines, the risk is in the south. Um, let's see here. 20th, 21st, right here, down here in the southwest uh, right now. Over in Greece, the risk is in uh, near Albania, the 20th and the 21st and Northwestern Greece, and again in Northern Albania on the 21st and 22nd. Hawaii, the earthquake risk remains in the Northwest portion of Hawaii. Central America, we've got some uh, newer maps up today on this, and it shows a uh, very high risk in uh, Northwestern uh, Costa Rica right now through the 20th. And then uh, the 20th, the 21st, still Northwest Costa Rica into uh, Nicaragua and Managua, Nicaragua, that area on the 20th, 21st, very high risk of that could produce a 5.0 to 6.0 in uh, Northwest Costa Rica and in uh, Northwest Korea, uh, Costa Rica to uh, Nicaragua on the 20th, 21st. And then the risk begins to diminish after that. So during the next uh, 48 hours, expecting something in north in the northwest Costa Rica to Nicaragua area, 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely in that area. Indonesia, risk remains here in the northwest portion of Sumatra, and especially on the 20th, the 21st where a 5.0 to 6.0 is possible in Northwest Sumatra. Taiwan, uh, this right now is in the Eastern and Southeastern portion. I think I saw something might have hit over there today. Let's see here. Oh, this is a 3.9 that hit on the 19th near Taipei. And that was this forecast here, so right up in here. Most of the risk is offshore here, but we have 3.9 right here in the 70% risk area. And then on the 20th, that risk moves off more often to the uh, far east of uh, Taiwan. Washington, the risk is very high in Northwest California right now with that warning we have, and also here in Southwest Oregon today and tomorrow. And in Turkey, the risk is way out here in Eastern Turkey on the 19th into the 20th. And uh, could expect a 5.0 to 5.5 out there in Eastern Turkey. And I believe that's Northern Iraq as well there, yeah, Northern Iraq. And the Caribbean risk is uh, in the Northeast Lesser Antilles right now. And in uh, New Zealand, risk is down here in the Southern and Southeastern portions, if there is a Southeast, kind of goes uh, northeast to southwest, but the southeast portion of New Zealand is the highest risk uh, right now. And Peru and Ecuador. The risk is in northwest Peru right now, the 20th, 21st. 
and uh, we will be adding some new maps here uh, tomorrow, most likely in this area. And we'll keep you updated on that. On that. Once again, a 4.1 earthquake just hit up in uh, Mena, Nevada, right here. And a 3.6 hit in Ridgecrest area. And we're looking for a significant earthquake, 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake is likely from uh, San Francisco Bay up to Eureka during the next, most likely during the next 36 hours. Thanks for stopping by again today. And uh, if you live in San Francisco Bay up to Eureka, Northwest California, be on alert for the next 36 hours. Uh, strong earthquake is likely in that area. And we'll keep you updated. We'll, we'll be back most likely tomorrow with an update. Thanks so much. And we'll talk to you again tomorrow.